Indocyanide green, ICG, is very useful for staining the anterior capsule in the case of a white cataract. With this material, we succeeded in obtaining two valuable anterior segment anatomical structure images. One is an anterior capsule split structure, and the other is Wigger's ligament. Dr. Takayuki Akahoshi introduced the ICG mixed with sodium hyaluronate, Visco ICG, in 2000. Visco ICG increases the ease of capsular hexis in a white cataract by painting the anterior capsule. A three-way stopcock is always used to mix the sodium hyaluronate and dissolved ICG. First, a sodium hyaluronate syringe is connected to the stopcock and the sodium hyaluronate is injected from the other end. The dissolved ICG syringe is then connected. Alternately pressing the plungers completes the Visco ICG. This is the left eye of a 79-year-old female. Visco ICG is painted on the surface of the anterior capsule after the soft shell technique is performed. The corneal endothelium is protected from the ICG by extended visco. The Visco ICG is removed via IA. The anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic material again. The CCC is started from the center of the anterior capsule using Inamura's forceps. The capsule is too fragile to continue the CCC. It breaks up into small clusters. The capsule is gently grasped and peeled repeatedly with the forceps. Then, something unexpected occurs. A 27 gauge blunt needle is inserted to perform hydrodissection, but it isn't able to penetrate the white cortex. It seems that there is yet another anterior capsule. It fluctuates when pressed with the tip of the needle, and the membrane seems to reflect. Inamura's forceps is inserted again to puncture the second anterior capsule. A second CCC maneuver is performed, starting at the center of the residual membrane. Since the capsule was not stained, identification is difficult. After nucleus and cortex removal, viscoelastic material is injected to inflate the capsular bag. You can see the two flat margins clearly. This is generally called a double ring sign. 
A double ring sign is often observed in older patients after CCC. It is said that it is the result of a split in the anterior capsule structure. In older patients, a split anterior capsule structure is often observed. If there is a split in the anterior capsule and the capsulorexis line tears off that area, a double ring sign may be created. If the anterior capsule split structure progresses naturally, a true exfoliation would most likely result. These are two photos observed by Dr. Hiroshi Asakage. This patient is an 85-year-old male and has no history of exposure to excessive heat, ocular trauma, or intraocular inflammation, which is thought to be the cause of this phenomenon, reported by Elschnig in 1922. Dr. Hisayuki Ueno obtained images using transmission electron microscopy of the crystalline lens with true exfoliation, revealing the clear split structure of the anterior capsule. The true exfoliation is a very thin slab measuring less than 10 microns, while the rest of the anterior capsule is thick. A split is obviously observed within the anterior capsule. This is the source of the double ring sign. Even with a split in the center of the anterior capsule, if forceps are used to delicately pick up the superficial thin layer, a very thin CCC flap and residual anterior capsule are possible. and a complete double ring sign may be observed. Next, the right eye of an 89-year-old female. The CCC is started from the center using forceps, and visco-ICG is used to stain the anterior capsule. After dividing the hard nucleus, it is phaco emulsified and aspirated by a U.S. tip with phaco chopper. The remaining half of the nucleus is rotated clockwise and chopping and PEA are performed. The last portion of the nucleus is then phaco emulsified and aspirated. After the procedure, Small visco-ICG fragments are observed through the CCC opening just behind the posterior capsule. A clear central space and a space where circumferential visco-ICG fragments aggregate are observed. The fragments flutter with slight movements of the eyeball. Weaker's ligament exists between the central transparent area and circumferential visco-ICG area. This is a view of the anterior segment of the eyeball. The Weaker's ligament connects the crystalline lens posterior surface and the anterior hyaloid membrane. The burger space is a small area surrounded by the crystalline lens and anterior vitreous. Here is a schematic drawing of this finding. First, visco ICG is painted on the anterior capsule. If the zonal is weak, visco ICG fragments tend to pass through it to the Garnier space during the phaco emulsification procedure. If a firm Weger's ligament exists, visco ICG fragments cannot enter the burger space. The burger space appears to be a small central area with a diameter of around 3 millimeters. Compared with the burger space, the Garnier space appears to be relatively large. We believe the two anatomical images we presented here, obtained by staining a white cataract with visco ICG, provide important findings. The first deals with a split anterior capsule structure, showing tearing of the capsule into two flaps. The other shows that the Weger's ligament can prevent visco ICG from penetrating into the burger space. Thank you for your attention.